learn an important distinction between self-concept and self-esteem. Stay tuned. So what is self-concept and what is self-esteem? What's the difference? Why is that even important? Well, it's important to know who you are for the most part, <laughs> and it's important to feel good about that. Knowing who you are, and I don't mean knowing who you are in a very deep spiritual philosophical sense. You could go a lifetime exploring that, and I suggest that you do. But for what we're talking about, we're talking about your self-concept. To put this into perspective, your self-concept is like a map. And in NLP, we say the map is not the territory. So the territory would be the vastness of all that you are, which you could, you could go on and on explaining, and there would be no end to that. And that's like the territory. So say like the territory or the state of California, the actual ground and all the details that go into that. We, make a, we can make a map, which is, doesn't have all those details, but that's what makes it useful. It's easy to refer to it if it's in your, it can fit in your back pocket or you can find it on your iPhone. So that map is not the territory. To completely duplicate the territory, you would have to recreate it atom by atom, and then why would you want to do that? You already have the territory. The map is for an easy reference. So your self-concept is like that. Your self-concept is not all that you are, it's a quick reference to that. And concept meaning it's not something you can see and it's not something you can put in your pocket. So it's actually not real. It is based on the choices that you choose to focus on in your memory of experience. So in choosing to focus on certain things, you have to ignore other things. So for example, say I, I think of myself as a, as a very competent person. What I'm choosing to do is choosing to function from the experiences I've had where I was a very competent person. Of course, I have experiences of not being competent, but I, I choose to ignore some of those, or ignore the majority of them, put it that way. And because I focus on the majority of them and I believe myself to be a competent person, the tendency is, is, it for, is for it to be self-fulfilling. So I will more than likely act like a competent person and do things in a competent way. Now, if I value competence and I behave in a competent way, then I experience self-esteem because I'm behaving, my, I'm aligning my behavior and something I believe about myself with something I value. So that's where the self-esteem comes from. So your self-concept is really a generalization of the many ideas that you have about yourself. So it's, in a sense, a bundle of generalizations. It's a generalization of a bundle of generalizations. Your self-esteem is how you feel about that. So for you people who know logical levels, your evaluation of your self-concept is at a higher logical level. So self-esteem is at a higher logical level because self-esteem is when I step back and look at myself or I look at what I've done, I look at what I believe about myself, and I'm happy about that. So if I value competence and I behave in what I consider to be a competent way, I experience self-esteem. If I do something that's incompetent and I value competence, I'm going to experience lower self-esteem. This is really important when you, when you begin to think about who we are as a culture and who I, I, I see, and I've experienced this myself, so I am speaking from experience, this idea of happiness. And I would think to myself, well, I'm not happy, so there must be something wrong. And people go about this in different ways. You could overeat, you can overdrink, you can go to a therapist and say, I'm not happy, and then they give you a pill that just makes you feel happy for doing nothing. That's not what happiness is. Happiness is the engagement of experiences in which, in things that you enjoy doing, that, you, that make you happy. So the more that you engage in things that make you happy, the happier you're going to be. If your majority of your time is spent doing things that don't make you happy, like a job that you're unhappy with, what do you think happens? Well, you're not gonna feel happy. Happiness comes with experiencing the activity of something that makes you happy. So 
this is the same thing as your self-concept. The more you engage in the behaviors that you value, that could be intelligence, kindness, competence, the higher your self-esteem is going to be. The problem is we often get this backwards. We often try to go at self-esteem directly, and that's like with affirmations. Or we seek compliments, and that's what is actually known as other esteem. We look for the approval of others. So that doesn't come from within. It comes from outside of us, and it may give us a temporary boost to our self-esteem, but because we're always dependent on someone else to give it to us, it can be taken away from us, and there's also that insecurity of maybe it's not there, or I'm waiting for someone else to judge me to give me that. Steve Andreas created this self-concept model, which is what I'm basing all of this on, and, I, and I'm happy to say that I don't just know this from his book, I know this from personal experience. When you take your values and you look at them as qualities within yourself, so if I value joy, if I value passion, and I think of myself as a joyful, passionate person, and I behave in that way, I'm going to have really high self-esteem because these are really high values of mine. So knowing the difference between self-concept and self-esteem makes creating self-esteem within yourself easier because it's just really automatic. When you're just doing the things that you value, you're automatically going to have higher self-esteem. And it's really that simple. And that plays into your overall well-being and your overall happiness in life and your confidence. People come to me a lot for more confidence. Again, you can't go at confidence directly. You have to go at well, what is it you want to be confident at. And when you're behaving competently at something, you're going to feel good about that, and which will make you feel more confident. And that's part of where the self-esteem uh, comes into. So do the things, be the person you value, and self-esteem is automatic. Check out our website, nlp-gym.com. Check out our upcoming trainings. Also, we have some online trainings. We even have a free online training, which you'll see more about at the end of this video. Follow us on Facebook so you can get real-time updates on free practices we're holding and, again, uh, the workshops that we have coming up. I also post these videos on Facebook, so it might be an easier way for you to get access to these videos. And like I said at the beginning of this video, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and you'll get these videos on a regular basis. Take care. Thank you.